Yes, good evening, everyone. I'd like to share with you some good news about the future of our air. Air pollution, of course, is a very serious global problem. We hear about it every day and everything from climate change to asthma rates in our children. But almost all air quality initiatives to date have focused on one thing, and that's reducing emissions. Now, I don't know too many people who believe we're going to be able to reduce our way out of this problem. We have to find a way to deal with the pollution after it's left the smokestack or the tailpipe or after it's leached the way into our air in our homes. I'm here tonight to tell you about some proven ready te now technology that can actually reverse air pollution indoors and out using the energy from light. And here's how it works. There's a common mineral pigment that's found in everything from paint to toothpaste to sunscreen called titanium dioxide, or TiO2 for short. And whenever ultraviolet A light strikes a particular form of this mineral, it starts a chemical reaction that's called photocatalysis. I won't get into all the chemistry here, but basically light-activated TiO2 briefly transforms ordinary water and oxygen in the air into powerful air scrubbers. Harmful pollutants like benzene and toluene, formaldehyde, NOx, and NO2 are all broken down into harmless byproducts. And because the TiO2 is a catalyst in this reaction, it doesn't get consumed, and in the right conditions, it can continue to work for years. This isn't new technology. It's proven science, first discovered back in 1968. And over the years, companies around the world have used it to make things like smog-eating cement, or bacteria-resistant tiles, or even self-cleaning glass. But if you want to clean air, and we need to clean a lot of air, you need to cover a lot of surface area. And three recent developments in the technology make the use of photocatalytic TiO2 for air pollution a viable solution. The first is the development of ever smaller and more active TiO2 crystals. Secondly is the ability to encapsulate those really tiny crystals in a water-based spray that can go on clear enough to disappear on glass and durable enough to last for five years. And third is the reduction of cost to the point that this now costs less than a coat of paint. The big idea here is that we can transform almost any surface that gets light into an air scrubber just by putting on an invisible coating of TiO2. Think of every building, every stadium, every road, even every car on the road being a light-activated air scrubber. And inside your homes or your offices, every window and every light fixture can be an air purifier. Now, how well does this work? Well, one expert estimated that if we sprayed just 10% of the roads in Los Angeles, air quality in LA would improve by 40%, saving billions in healthcare costs. And remember, the energy that's driving all this air purification is completely free and ultimately sustainable. It's the light from the sun. So technology got us into this air pollution mess, and I think technology can help get us out of it. We need to continue to reduce and reuse and recycle, but when it comes to air pollution, we need to add a fourth R, and that's reverse. And with photocatalytic materials, we can use the power of light to clean our air. Thank you.